you, get, you know, like to make it out, you gotta have a goal. You gotta have a, a strong parenthood that that's gonna you know, block out all the negativity that's around you. You know, not gonna make excuses. Oh, you can't go to college because you know we're in a project. Or they're not gonna give you a chance to you know to go to college. Or they're not gonna give you a chance to play football. You, know, you can't worry about that. If you're doing all the right things, no person, nobody can hold you back, you know, from your dream or from your goal. Two ways to make it to college. It was either I was going to, you know, try to go the way of, you know, going about my grades and trying to get my parents. I knew that my parents were financially stable, you know, to get me into college. You know, so I took football as a, you know, my way of getting out. Without school and education, there's no way I can save not only myself but I can save my family and younger generations coming up from that that torment. Because really, it's a it's a it's a tormenting type thing. Because it never stops and it feels like it's forever. So by coming here and getting this, this great education that the university provides, it really just broadened my horizons on life and it um, just made me a better man. Oh, it's an opportunity to be here, man. It's, it's a chance for me to better my life and my family, um, my little son, so I can start a college tuition, a college fund for him when he get become 18, if he don't get a scholarship for football, uh, academic scholarship. So it's kind of me, a kind of opportunity so I could just do things for my mom, buy her a house, buy her a car, because growing up, she always did everything for me. So it's my turn to turn the field for her and my family. Uh, my, my, my first year here, I stayed with uh, Alan Bailey in the dorms. I came over to him, uh, picking me up by my feet and telling me to shut up because I was kind of a talkative person my first year. So he kind of telling me to be quiet. So he tried to pick me up by my feet and hang me, like dangling like I was an uh, ornament on a, on a Christmas tree. We lived in a kind of bad area called Robin Hood. And it was kind of like a bunch of uh, game violence, uh, fighting uh, going on. So my mom, she got, uh, she got, she got fed up, and we moved to uh, Miami Garden by the stadium, which is a nice area. My dad was in, uh, he, he went, he went away. So when he came back, we, we still had that bond. But in time, five to fifteen, I had my granddad, but I didn't have that father figure inside my household. But I know how it is. Uh, you start wondering, you, you see your friend with their dad playing catch outside, and you can't do that with your dad. But it's kind of. Um, it's kind of made me want to be a better, uh, be there for my, be there for my child, which I will. So I have a, um, a two-week-old son uh, named Demarcus Jr. It's kind of uh, impacted my life hard because now I have two, I have three, three mouths to feed, uh, my girlfriend, him, and me. So it's kind of uh, motivation. So I'm, I'm looking for the opportunities to help him out in life like that. My mom, my grand, my, my whole family helped me out with this situation right now because I don't have as much money because I'm still in college. But my, my mom. And my girlfriend's mom, they helped they help me out a lot with babysitting their baby and uh, feeding sometimes. So it's, it's kind of a family deal. Take a village, raise a child, so we're doing our thing. Uh, football took me a lot of ways. Football helped me get a, a great degree from Miami University, which is a great institute, and like helped me out in the future. So I'm kind of glad that I played football and uh, did things for me. Most part, my home was good. I guess you could say until I came to the university my, my freshman year. Once I got here, my um to the university, um, times were just rough. You know, we didn't have any money. My dad came to school to pick me up, and um he drove back. He came in crying, and Swayze was like, "What's going on?" And then they went to Swayze's office, and um my strength coach, and they my dad took me back home, and then we had to go to the U-Haul place. I'm like, "Why are we getting a U-Haul?" And um come to find out, all our stuff was out on the house in garbage bags and they they had kicked me out of they had kicked us out of the house and so we were pretty much homeless for about two weeks before entering school uh, I guess if not evicted from our house um, we, it was the house became foreclosed on and due to that my parents eventually got a divorce um, from a 20-year marriage I guess no 19-year marriage and um, I mean times it became hard I didn't have any money besides the money that the school gave me um, I didn't. I wasn't able to get new shoes or new clothes. All my money had to go to me eating. You know, it would be the more important thing for me at that time is earning money for my family. That way, my sisters can have shoes and, and school clothes and things like that. And my mom 
and have to stress myself so much with, you know, getting food on the table. If, if it wasn't for Miami offering me a scholarship and me playing football, oh, there's no telling where I'd be. I mean, I'd probably be on the street or, I mean, I'd probably be working, driving to make my, my help my family by getting a job. I, I feel like that this football thing, I feel like what we're doing here is, isn't just playing football just to do it. Cause, I mean, we love the sport, but I feel like a lot of us on this team, we do it for our families. And um, that's our main motivation is our families and getting us, our families out of bad situations. You know, some guys on the team are blessed, but for the majority, we're all coming out of, you know, the prize situations. And um, we're all doing it to, to better our communities, better our families, and better ourselves overall. Like I said, football was going to get me you know, to a university that was going to get me a degree. My parents stressed that, you know, by me going to college, you know, I know that I was going to be the first person to get my degree, the first person to, you know, to graduate from high school and go to the next level. So that was one of the main, my main goals of, was going to get out of high school, get my high school diploma, and was going to be able to get a college degree. Uh, neighborhood back home was you know, hearing gunshots every night, you know, going to sleep. It was, it was basically a, the same, you know, the same thing every day. You hear gunshots, then you jump on the floor. Your mama always told you, you know, hop on the floor because the gunshots could come through the window or they could go through the wall. So it was the same, you know, technique. It was the same drill every night. You know, back then when I was in middle school and, and elementary, it was a game called the John Doe Boys. You know, you could look that up. It was a big time game going around. You know, people was getting killed. You know police officer was getting killed, and so it was easy to get caught up in that game. You know, I was really playing football to you know, just stay out of trouble. But, but my 10th and 11th grade year, I started noticing that you know, it was serious, that, that I really had a chance to you know, get, out, get out of the projects and get out of the inner city you know, to go better my future and to go you know, get a college degree and go to, you know, go to the NFL and you know, you know, help my family out. You know, to get them, you know, from that bad environment and to get them, you know, to let them look on me and, you know, to be proud of me one day that I had my college degree. And it was hard on me in high school, no matter if it was on football or in grades. You know, it was hard on me. And, you know, just, just, just telling you all positive things, knowing all these negative things going on. When, if, when they know when you're from the inner city, they look down on you. And they like, oh, this, this kid not smart. You know? This kid don't want an education here to just play football. You know, but that's wrong though. Like I said, me getting my college degree, you know, outweighs me going to the NFL, you know, a lot. That college degree is way more important to me than playing in the NFL. Because like I said, that's something that no other person has done in my neighborhood, no other person in my family has done. And that's something I wanna you know, give back. You know, when I go back there to my community, you know, to say that I really went to college, I came from the same environment that you kids came from. You know, anything is possible.